Uh, they said that I pushed the cremation to happen quickly to hide things. The national average is three days because after that the body starts to smell. Uh, she was cremated six days after she passed away so that her ashes would be ready uh, for the funeral the next day. A complete autopsy, which they did not do. Devastated that they didn't because John Paul rushed the cremation process. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. And remember when John Paul Miller shared in a video to all the people that had questions saying that he was going to answer all the questions and come with receipts and 350 pieces of proof. So that we can win the war that is up ahead. And I am looking forward to presenting over 350 pieces of proof well, he now has another video that he's supposed to be clearing up the lies, and he starts by saying that after his wife passed, he would pay for the travel expenses. He texted the family and told him that he would cover it. He then said he gave the family $3,500 per request for their expenses to travel, and he said seven minutes after the check was cashed, they went to Facebook asking for money to cover their travel expenses. Now, unless he has someone working behind the scenes getting all of this information, as far as times a check was cashed, he's everything we thought he was. Sneaky and moving like a snake. And unless I miss the post where the family asked for this, it isn't true. So JP showed no type of proof or receipts showing this information. And even if he did have receipts, and even if that did happen, what is the relevance to this video, to him supposedly clearing up lies or misconceptions about Micah's actual death? He also says that he texted the family to come see Micah's body at the funeral home. He said he gave them the times. They agreed, gave it a thumbs up. And within an hour after that, they posted on Facebook that he would not let them see Micah's body. Now, I feel like we really need to see some sort of text messages or receipts on the timestamps for that because JP, it seems like he's leaving out a lot of that message because from the family side of it, they state that John Paul said that they would not be able to view her body unless they agreed to cremation. Now, here's where it gets tricky. He says that he received a paper from Micah's parents, her mom and her dad, saying that they wanted her body to be cremated. And he said that he agreed just because of the way she passed away. So he said he doesn't know what they're talking about in regards to him making them. So I really feel like there are a lot of pieces of this puzzle that's being left out, things that are being twisted, things that are being put in someone's mouth. The family side of this, just to see but like I said in the beginning, there's really no relevance to these type of questions that he's answering. I mean, what about the sex workers that he put up on the side of the road? What about slashing her tires? What about the trackers that was on her car? What about where he actually was on April 27th? What about photos from the game? Everyone takes photos, right? What about someone who can say that they witnessed him being there? What about text messages of that day? I'm pretty sure he deleted some of them, but we have questions, but he's not answering any of them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out. Bye for now.